sectioned into three quarters. So we have the back part, and I'm just going to put a couple panels back here to lighten this up. And then I've got both sides sectioned off, and then the top part sectioned off. So this is how I've combed it through in sections. So I'm going to start with my panels working this way, and kind of like a diagonal section. I bleach mixed, and then I have my foils. This is a little bit thick after I do a couple foils. I'm probably going to dilute it down a little bit because it's a little bit thicker of a consistency than I like. I'm using Provana Bleach and Developer. That is my favorite. It's foolproof. It's amazing. It's a win-win situation all the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking my foil, bending over the top section. I'm going to come through with the comb. I'm going to pick up a decent sized section of hair right here. Her hair is fine, but it's it's very strong. Okay, so I'm putting the foil underneath that section, and then I'm gonna slide it up underneath, holding the hair down on top of it. And then I'm gonna take the bleach and just paint it onto the hair, and then I'm gonna fade it up a little bit as it goes into this. And then fold it. I fold it to where it looks kind of like a little foil wrapped chicken piece. And then I'm going to take another section and a diagonal slice. Hey Liz, could you hand me a clip please? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take a section of hair and pull that forward. Thank you. And then just clip it to where it stays. And then I'm going to come through, I'm going to take another diagonal piece, like that. As you guys can see, I'm going to say it's about three to four inches in length and about a quarter of an inch thick. Then pull that over, I slide it under, and then I take my bleach and I go ahead and paint it on. Again, guys, I'm sorry. I apologize if you're having a hard time hearing me. My voice is messed up. I had a cold and I lost my voice. And it sucks, but life goes on. So I feel great. I just sound like hell. So again, I'm folding it in a little foil wrap chicken position. And then I'm just going to work my way over, grabbing and gathering another piece of hair that I'm putting between it. And I'm going to pin that into there. Usually I like the duck clips because they go in like this, but I don't have any right now, so I'm just using the regular clips. I'm going to go in and get another section. And then I'm going to do this about three more times just on the back of her head, just to blend in the highlight. And then I'm going to work my way into the top and then the sides. Okay, so I'm putting that in. I'm going to go ahead and push her head down as I do it. I'm getting bleach on predominantly one side of my brush and painting it on. And then, as I paint it on like this, I go in and then I feather it up on the top so I don't have like a harsh line as her hair grows out. And <clears throat> I don't go all the way to the scalp because bleach expands as it, as it sets. And so if I, if I do that, it's going to go ahead and expand itself up. And if I, if I went all the way to the roots, she would get, end up getting tiger stripes. Okay, so I started the top section. So we did our panels across the back going diagonal and then I'm going to do the top section. Whenever I'm highlighting I always go in different directions so then that way it's not all set just in one so it looks more natural. So I'll go to the straight back on the side or I'll go a little bit to the side and the sides I go at an angle and then the back I go diagonally to where it kind of breaks it up. Okay so what we're going to do now in our top section <clears throat> is we'll take a piece of hair and we'll pull that over there. And I never am really concerned about how straight I make my sections or my panels because again, the more crazy it is, um, the more dimension it's going to give to the hair and the less it's going to look like it's a process. So it'll look more natural. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pull the hair back over that section and then paint on our bleach. Now the thing I like about this bleach is that you can use it bleach over bleach. A lot of bleaches you can't. Once you apply bleach to the hair, 
you can apply it again. But this bleach is awesome. It's got protein in it and it's got toner already built in it to where you can literally just highlight someone's hair just with the bleach. And if you let it set for the amount of time, um, it'll process and lift and no toner is needed. It's just it's awesome. I love it. When I was blonde um, a couple months ago, this is what I used on my hair. And so you guys know, for me to go from black to blonde and then use this product, it's got to be like awesome. And my hair was cool too, like it wasn't like totally damaged and fried. It was dry, but not fried, and that's the key thing, like you don't want to compromise the quality of, some, of your hair. Okay. So you should be able to get a hold of this product if you have a license or whatever area that you're in. It's Pravana. I'll put a slide up after this video if you can't. Um, you can contact me and I can ship you some, so don't worry about that. If, you, if you're if you in like some remote area in Honduras and you can't get it, don't worry. Okay, and I'm going to pull back again and go ahead and highlight this. Now we had dyed her hair like a burgundy and like a fire engine red, so we're still lifting out some of that in there. So this is pretty easy. A lot of times people are intimidated by foils, but don't be. It just takes practice. I can actually foil my own head. Um, but like when I was blonde, I didn't foil it. I just bleached the whole thing. So like I would just apply this to my whole entire head and just coat my hair real good and then put a cap on it and let it process for 45 minutes and wash it out. And that's how I got my hair so white blonde. And um, every other time I would use the Print and Blonde Toner, it's 902 by Pravana. Okay, so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna leave her bangs because they're like they're looking okay, but I'm gonna leave them a little bit darker. Okay, now I'm gonna start on this side panel. So I'm gonna take my clip out and you guys can see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in underneath right here and lift this hair up. And this is the hair that has fallen from this that we did. And so I'm just going to tuck that in there. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start and I'm going to make a diagonal pattern right there. I'm going to grab my foil, fold the top over, and then go ahead and section off my hair. What I'm going to do pull it down right there. She's got, I cut her hair um, probably a month ago or so, whatever, and she has like a a long kind of funky a-line it's really fun and nice and cute but it also um it goes good like if she's gonna wear extensions too it blends in nice because we have it layered so good okay so i have this covered good i have a little tiny bit of product on my brush so i'm gonna go in and i'm just gently hitting the hair just fading it in not not really dousing it but again just blending it She's really quiet. She's never this quiet. <laughs> She's totally used to being my Barbie though, so that's all good. That's a good combination. So I'm going to fold this over again. I'm going to take a section of hair and go up with it. So you see how we're kind of going at an angle now instead of like going straight across like we were. So this side is like a combination of the back angle that we did, and then the front panels that we did. So I'm going to take another. And I'm still staying about three inches long and about a quarter to half an inch thick. Okay. So my panels are actually going skinny to fat as they go back because like the circumference area of her head in the back, there's more hair back there. So it's a little bit wider. So when her hair falls, it's going to look blonder but she's not gonna have um, like visible lines so I'm applying the bleach liberally but not too much and not too high like I said because you don't want it to expand out of the foils okay 
So this is how you highlight. This is an easy way, easy method to do um, foil highlights. You can do this on yourself on the front and the sides very easy. The back you may need help with, um, but you can do this on other people too. And um, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and finish this panel on the other side. And then I'm going to take some after pictures and put them in and show you guys what the final product looks like when we're all done. Alright, thanks for watching guys. We'll see ya.